Hi everyone. Um, so I'm really excited to be making some more videos for you and talking a little bit more about how I started my business, but also again a couple of the different aspects of starting a business. Um, so again, I'm specifically in bridal. I own a bridal store. I sell dresses. I also make um, custom wedding dresses. Um, I do alterations, so a little bit of everything. Um, but getting started in this business was something that I really had like no base foundation for. I really just learned how to do everything on my own for the most part. Um, you know, I picked up some things on the internet um, that were related to other businesses and opening up other kinds of boutique stores. But for the most part, I really have done everything completely on my own. Um, so it's been really exciting. It's been really like rewarding to see what works and what doesn't work. Um, so it's been really interesting. That kind of brought me to this video today is something I've thought about a lot is really like marketing yourself and getting your business out there and getting like your name out there because I mean people are going to tell you there's the basics of having storefront signage if you have a storefront, um, having good signs, having good visibility, being in a great area, make sure you have parking, um, which is actually pretty big for most people. Like a lot of people it seems like don't are more likely to not go to some place if there isn't parking or it's just a little bit more of a deterrent and if there's any way to keep it so people are not deterred from coming to see you like do everything you possibly can i'm lucky enough that i have a store in a in the city so that there's a lot of people who are walking a lot of foot traffic so it's been really positive but i also have street parking and there's a parking lot like next door that people are able to use if they're kind of coming in and out quickly so definitely something to keep in mind um, I'm sure if you talk to a lot of other professionals, especially marketing professionals, and about getting your business started, it's going to be having a, lot, a big budget for ads and um, internet advertising and maybe paper advertising if there's a local magazine, um, getting a lot of exposure on Facebook and Instagram and being like a really big personality and really bringing a personality to your store and to your brand. And while I'm all about building your brand and really understanding, um, you know, who your customer is like 100%, but if someone is going to buy from you, they're buying from you. So before you even start your business, before you even open your store, you have to like represent who you are from the very beginning. Like when I opened my store and I placed my first order for my first round of um, gowns to stock, I went on Facebook and actually happened to be right before Thanksgiving. So this is on Thanksgiving that I did this. I went on to Facebook and I made my big announcement that that's what I was doing. Like I'm opening my store, get ready in the next month or two, it's gonna be here. Like these are some things that I ordered and I was just, I was tooting my own horn. I was so excited. I was just blowing this up to be like the biggest and best thing that there could be. And I got such a good response. And from then on, I had lots of people um, whether they're getting married or not who were following along with me. They were asking me questions They were like really excited to see what was going Which was awesome because down the line it ended up being that I have a lot of brides and a lot of girls who were um, You know would stop in and be like so and so told me that you had a store and I'm sure eventually they would have known that I was opening my store but if you're not your biggest advocate and you are not like shouting it from the rooftops from day one like who is if you're not doing it who is because you need to be your number one cheerleader you need to be your biggest billboard you need to be your biggest radio personality like you alone can bring yourself so much business so once I made that announcement, um, I really just kept it going. Anytime I bought a chair for the store, anytime I like threw a paint, a coat of paint on the wall, I was there like showcasing all of it. Like I wanted everyone to know exactly what I was doing. Prior to even having like the store, I was like making some wedding dresses and people knew that and um, you know about like six months prior to that I had my own wedding and I made my wedding dress so people were you know under the impression that like I, I was making this stuff but I don't think anybody truly knew like on how big of a scale I was doing it um, until like I made that big announcement and from then on like I said I was just I was telling anybody and 
everybody who would listen, like this is what I would do. I posted everything on Facebook and Instagram and I went like nuts with it and I made it to seem like I had like the biggest and best store you're ever gonna walk in. Um, and you know, I am a smaller boutique, so it's not to say like I don't have a ton of stuff, but you know, it's, it's definitely a lot different than going into like one of your bigger chain stores and seeing hundreds of dresses on racks that people don't really like love and care about like the way that I do. So like I took this totally different approach of it being, you know, a small boutique, it's intimate, it's private appointments, and you're gonna get champagne and it's just gonna be us and it's gonna be like girls time and with like your friends and your family and whoever comes and it's gonna be like this really special place to be and like people loved it like people ran with it because they knew they weren't going into again like a David's Bridal or an Alfred Angelo and you're sifting through the racks next to somebody else next to you um which actually was a little frustrated that Alfred Angelo was now having a a sample sale for all of the stuff that they didn't sell when they went out of business but that's besides the point so really like what you need to do or like what I would definitely say is a big thing to do is to just market yourself like your personal self as much as possible because I mean when you are the owner of a business whether it's you and somebody else or maybe you have a, some employees or eventually will like at the end of the day you are the face of your business. So you have to get yourself out there, like go meet people, like walk up to local businesses, introduce yourself, like reach out to anybody who could potentially help you out and that you can also do the same for and just make connections because those are gonna be the people who are going to remember that there is a human, like a human with like a beating heart and passion and love for their business at that store and they're gonna be way more likely to send business your way because they know that there's a real person that cares cares enough to to, to be that friendly and to be that person. So, I mean, take the time and invest in your advertising and invest in good signage for your store and really learn and understand Instagram and Facebook and all of the other social media platforms. But 100% you need to market yourself. Like, blow everyone up with what you're doing and how amazing what you're doing really is and I swear you will see such a big return because people care. Like people want to know that they're going to a business that cares. Like for me, being in a bridal, like it is a really more like intimate experience and it's a once, hopefully once in a lifetime thing that you're going to do. Um, so really making sure that people understand that like you're a very like niche place to be and it's a special place to be is going to be huge for you. And even if you own like another type of boutique where maybe you're selling clothes or jewelry or handbags or something else, like that doesn't mean that you can't stand apart from everybody else. Like there's probably tons of new stores that are popping up all over the place and especially with the internet, they're, they're everywhere. Um, but knowing that there's a person behind it with like a story and with love behind what they're doing, it's gonna be so much more likely for them to come to you because like eventually they're going to fall in love with you and they're gonna wanna see the person behind the scenes doing everything and they'll follow your story and they'll be really excited to see you and maybe they'll love like your personal style and they'll be like wanting to go shopping at your store because they're like, she looks so good. Like I wanna basically shop her closet, which is, you know, her store. So I mean, it's 100% in your best interest to take the time and just invest in yourself. Like whatever you have to do, like invest in yourself and you as the face of the billboard face of the business like treat yourself like you are a billboard you are a walking talking advertisement for yourself so I hope that this helps 
And if you have any questions, I'm definitely gonna dive into more about collaborating with other businesses and other business owners because that's been something I've been doing and it's been huge and there's a whole lot that comes along with that. Um, but I hope this little tidbit of information was a little bit helpful and kind of gives you a different perspective on, on getting yourself started. Thanks.